The Nigerian economy is no doubt an import-dependent economy, with about 80% of its foreign exchange earnings coming from the sale of oil. In recent times, the price of oil at the international market has maintained a downward trend with adverse implications for the Nigerian economy. As government grapples with the present economic realities, it has continued to evolve measures to cushion the effect of the dwindling oil price on the economy. Some of the measures adopted include the taxation of luxury goods, withdrawing from the external reserve, and revising of the 2015 budget benchmark to $73 per barrel. The devaluation of the Naira from 155 to 168 Naira to the United States dollar by the Monetary Policy Committee of the Central Bank of Nigeria is also part of the measures adopted by government to mitigate the effect of the rising oil price. This has continued to generate concerns among stakeholders and economic analysts. The pressure on Naira apart from declining oil prices is also because of liquidity in the banking industry, whereby a lot of frivolous demands or efforts have been made by customers of banks. But banks are able to extend credit to these customers. We are saying, no, we want you to lend to the critical and desirable sectors of the economy. The rich sectors that can actually facilitate and engender production activities. Not trading, not to import two pigs, not to import other truths. So we are saying, the only thing we can do to reduce the capacity to grant loans to these customers for trading is to also mop up more of the monies available to the banks, which is why we have increased the CRR from 15% to 20% on private sector deposits. This would amount to about 500 billion naira withdrawal from the banking industry. We believe this will reduce the demand and pressure on our foreign exchange. Knowing fully well that most of the things we consume or manufacture in Nigeria are imported or has imported raw materials, so. Uh, definitely, uh, we expect that uh, there will be generally uh, increase in prices of finished goods uh, and imported goods. The situation experts say is a wake-up call to Nigerians, especially government, to develop the non-oil sector of the economy. They argue that it has become imperative for government to promote policies aimed at revamping the manufacturing sector. To succeed in this regard, economic experts are also of the opinion that government must adopt measures to tackle corruption in the system. 